The humanitarian operation in Palestine is unique throughout the world. 48 years of occupation have left millions of Palestinians extraordinarily vulnerable. Our operation first and foremost responds to a protection crisis, to the need to make sure that Palestinians have access to legal advice, uh, that there is a monitoring that their rights are not violated, that unexploded ordinances are removed safely from the rubble of, of Gaza, that the children receive psychosocial support after 10 years with three rounds of hostilities. First and foremost, then, this is about protection. Secondly, in the Palestinian context, a small but significant number uh, of Palestinians are being denied access to basic services, to water, to health, to education. And so the humanitarian community is responding for the time being to substitute, if you will, make sure that those services get to the people who not only need them, but who have every right uh, to access those services. And thirdly, uh, we are monitoring very carefully a rather tragic development as houses, households continue after such a prolonged period of crisis, households demonstrate that their ability to cope with these rounds of shocks, of hostilities, of uh, demolitions of their homes, uh, uh, of salaries that come and go, of electricity cuts with devastating consequences. These rounds of shocks are surely de uh, depleting the coping capacity of some extraordinarily vulnerable households. So thirdly, the humanitarian community in the Palestinian environment is trying to support those, uh, those households, to try and protect them in their ability to cope with these shocks and to try and prevent them from taking very negative coping strategies that will have irreversible harm on the trajectory of their, of their family. Protection, access to essential services, uh, and, the, and the shoring up of coping strategies are at the core of what the humanitarian team does uh, in occupied Palestine. Overall, it's got to be clear that this is not a substitute for a political solution. Humanitarian responses save lives, uh, but they also, they buy time. They buy time for long-term political solutions to be found. The assumption that somehow Palestine will remain intact, that somehow a humanitarian operation uh, can keep things static for five, 10, 15 years more is an extraordinarily dangerous and irresponsible assumption. So we have one call, uh, one clear call to make sure that finally after so many years, the peace process is brought to a swift uh, and positive resolution.